Okay, I am going to show you how to delete a saved wireless network connection uh, in Windows XP. And I tend to like to do this because sometimes I will change my wireless network, uh, but not on my machine itself, just the network. And uh, But I'll keep the exact same settings. And I find with Windows XP, uh, sometimes when I do that, I need to go in and delete save network settings uh, in order for kind of a new network profile to be created and everything to continue working. So I'll just show you uh, how to do that. So down here you see uh, this is my little wireless network icon and uh, depending on whether or not you're connected this thing could change but generally it's a little monitor image with uh, wireless waves coming away from it. So click on that you get this window, click on View Wireless Networks, and that gives you this. Okay, go down to Change Advanced Settings, and that gives you this thing. And then go down to uh, Wireless Networks, and here you see a list of the wireless networks that your machine has been connected to. Um, so suppose that's the name of the network that I'm getting rid of. You select it, you click remove, now it's gone, OK. Now what you'll want to do is um, check your wireless networks and possibly uh, add whatever network you want to connect to again. So you click on the thing down there, you get this again, go view wireless networks. Here we have a list that pops up and it shows in here the wireless networks that are around. So you can find your, uh, your network in this list. If it's not there, try clicking refresh because uh, sometimes, uh, well, interference or something gets in the way. And it should show up. Just click whatever it is you want, go connect to your password, and that's all there is to it. So hopefully that helps about you. Yeah.